Hello friends, in the last video we seen about the introduction of UV spectroscopy and principle of UV spectroscopy. In this small video we are going to learn about some terms like oxochrome and chromophore which used in the UV spectroscopy and we will also learn about the shifts observed in UV spectroscopy, right? So let's start. First, we will see two important terms. One is oxochrome and another one is chromophore. So first we will start from chromophore. Chromophore is what? When a covalently unsaturated group, covalently unsaturated group responsible for electronic absorption is called chromophore. It means what? Some groups, some functional group which have unsaturated covalent bond, unsaturated covalent bond which itself is responsible for color or you can say electronic absorption in UV spectroscopy. So these type of groups are known as chromophores. These type of groups are known as chromophore. Example is alkene, carbonyl, nitro, cyano, etc. So these type of uh, unsaturated group will be responsible for the electronic transition in UV spectroscopy. Now we will see oxochrome. What is oxochrome? Oxochrome is a saturated group with non-bonding electron which when added to a chromophore alters the wavelength and intensity of absorption. Means oxochrome is itself not responsible for electronic absorption. It helps or it supports the chromophore and changing the intensity or wavelength due to the absorption. So oxochromes are saturated groups. Example is hydroxy, OH. You can see here OH, NH2, OCH3, fluorine, etc. So oxochromes are saturated group while chromophores are unsaturated group. Oxochrome itself shows color, it shows shows responsible for electronic transition or absorption while Oxochrome is a supporting group which helps to change the intensity or wavelength of the main chromophore, right? Moving next to the shifts in the UV spectroscopy. So normally in UV spectroscopy, we will observe four types of shifts. So first we will see the diagram. You can see diagram is plotted absorption A versus wavelength lambda max okay so the graph is plotted in terms of absorbance versus wavelength in this graph there are four shifts observed one is hyperchromic another is hypochromic one is blue shift one is red shift now question what are they so you can see the red color is for red shift red shift is what yeah so first we will see red shift that is also known as bethochromic shift. Red shift is also known as bethochromic shift. The shift of absorption toward higher wavelength due to the substitution or solvent effect is called bethochromic shift. Means the wavelength will change. Wavelength will change to the higher side. The shift absorption towards the higher wavelength is known as bathochromic shift. While hypsochromic shift, that is blue shift, the shift of absorption towards the shorter wavelength, towards the shorter wavelength will be known as hypsochromic shift due to the substitution or solvent. So sub shift of absorption towards short wavelength due to the shift or a solvent is called hypsochromic shift. 
Next, hyperchromic shift and increase in the absorption intensity. You can see we are going to the again to the graph. Red shift is higher wavelength, blue shift is lower wavelength. Hyperchromic shift means increase in ten intensity, right? And hypsochromic is decrease in the intensity. So you can see hypochromic shift is a decrease in the absorption intensity. So I hope it is very clear to everyone. When we have change in the wavelength, we have we have change in the wavelength means you are moving on the x-axis. You are moving on the x-axis either right side or left side. If you are moving to the red side, uh, right side that is called red shape. If you are moving to the left side that is blue shape. If your intensity is going to higher, you are going upper side on the y-axis that is hyperchromic shape means intensity get increased. If you have got lower intensity, that means the intensity is going downside, that is hypsochromic shape. So these are all the shifts observed in the UV spectra. Thank you for watching.